Hi everyone, Harry Frank from Red Giant here. In this tutorial, I'd like to walk you through Linear Wipe and Shape Wipe, both found in Red Giant Universe 2.2. So I'd like to start with Linear Wipe. In my effects under Video Transitions, go to the category Universe Transitions, and inside there you'll locate Linear Wipe. I'll drag this to a cut point between two clips, and as I play through this, you'll see that it's a fairly traditional linear wipe. However, if I select the transition and go to the effect controls, we'll see that it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. At the very top of the effect controls, you'll find the preset browser. This will give you access to a wide variety of presets to use as a starting point or to use as is. So the first parameter you can change just below the preset browser is the path angle. This is totally variable from 0 to 360, so you can set this to whatever direction you'd like the transition to travel. Just below that, we've got the option to mirror the transition. So instead of one direction, this will actually travel from the center outward in two directions at the same time. If you check the reverse checkbox, this will actually start on the outside and move towards the center. You'll notice by default it renders a stroke along the wipe edge. Let me click on reset here and put this right in the middle. If you'd like to remove the stroke, you can simply uncheck enable stroke. Just above that, we've got the option to feather the wipe so you can have a soft edge wipe. You can still enable the stroke with the edge softened though. Now, this stroke actually has a number of different options. There's actually two strokes that you can render. One is an inner stroke, and then there's another outer stroke that we can render on the edge. So, for example, I can go to the stroke color and set this to a dark color. And then on my outer stroke, I'll pick something from the video here. So I'll just pick a part of the orange from the skyline, and I will bump up the saturation just a bit. So the default outer stroke width is zero, so we don't see anything just yet, but if I turn this up, we can see that we have another stroke rendering on the outside of the inner stroke. In fact, I'll make this inner stroke a little bit bigger. You can also see a bit of a glow and rendering on the stroke. Down here, we have a stroke glow that we can also enable or disable. And we have an intensity of the glow as well as the overall radius, and there's a glow noise that gets mixed in with the glow. Next, let's cover Shape Wipe. You'll find Shape Wipe in the same Universe Transitions category, and I'll grab the Shape Wipe transition and drop it on a cut point between two clips. Now, at the very top, we have the Shape Control. So there's four different shapes that we can use as our shape type. Just below that, there are some shape options that go along with those shapes. For square and rectangle, there is actually a rectangle rounding control, so we can round out the corners. And if we select a rectangle shape, there's actually a rectangle width that we can use here. There is not an overall shape scale because the shape scale needs to be controlled by the plugin to start at a 0% scale and get to a size that covers the entire frame. In fact, you'll notice if you use something like the position to reposition where this transition goes, it will actually size the shape dynamically based on where you are positioning it because it needs to rescale to cover the frame. Below that, we have a start angle and rotation speed. The start angle is essentially the starting angle at which the shape starts. The rotation speed is the final rotation in which it lands. So if I set this at 360, this will go one full revolution over the course of the transition. We have the option to reverse this, so we'll actually start out of frame and move towards the middle. We have very similar stroke controls that you found in Linear Wipe. We have the ability to remove the stroke, and we also have the same inner and outer stroke controls. There's also the same stroke glow that we can enable or disable, we can adjust the glow intensity, radius, and noise. This has an additional stroke blend so that if you'd like to blend the stroke back with the original video, the option is there to modify the blending mode that's being used by the stroke. So if I turn up these stroke widths to make this easier to see, I could set this to something quite dramatic like difference just to show what's going on here. This will blend the stroke back with the original, but not the glow. The glow is set to an add blend mode. So as you can see, both Linear Wipe and Shape Wipe are fairly traditional transition types, but with a bit of a modern spin. My name's Harry Frank for Red Giant. We'll see you next time. Many thanks to our friends at Pond5 for much of the footage we use in this tutorial. 
To see more of their footage, go to Pond5.com.